Sure is a good one you're putting over this time, boss. Ain't it, Yoakum? Sure is. Yeah, I've wanted that barn X ranch for a long time. As soon as the sheriff serves the papers, it's mine. Hello, sheriff. Hey, you, get your dirty feet off my desk. You fellas don't work here. Well, I'm all set to take possession of Clark's ranch. And I want you to go out and serve the papers. Well, you know, I think this is a kind of a dirty trick. Throwing that boy off that ranch he was born on, lived on all his life. You know, there ain't nothing in the law that compels you to take it from him. You could give him a little more time if you wanted to. Papers are papers. And I got what I need right here. Well, I don't like to be a party to this. Say, are you the sheriff or ain't you? If you are, come on. Tim's inside, a-packing, getting ready to go. I bet it breaks his heart to lose this ranch to that crook Russell. No wonder, after being raised on it, having his dad leave it to him. I wonder where he got that idea to go hunting silver. And I wouldn't mind if he'd take me along with him. Me too. And the great boss, Square. You think you cow showed up here, I might have left the ranch without even paying you off. Oh, we don't want to take any money, Tim. You all might need it. We'd only lose it playing cards or something. Anyway, we're plenty square with you now, boss. Now, go on, take it. Everybody else was paid off four days ago. No reason why you fellas should be left holding the bag. Now, you fellas have stuck to me through thick and thin. A lot of things you've done that I... Well, I couldn't pay you for with money, but... Here, go on, take this money before I knock you down the creek. Go on. Well, what are you aiming to do now, boss? I thought we talked that over last night. Yes, we did. But we're not convinced yet. We think you ought to take that job with Owen. I think Owen did enough when he took you fellows on. And furthermore, after running my own outfit, I don't know that I want to work for anybody else. Especially until I've made some effort to get this ranch back. Darn that fellow Russell. I'd like to wring his neck. Yes, but just remember, Russell was acting within his legal rights. Legal be hanged. He promised to renew that note of yours and then wouldn't. That may be legal, but all I can wish for Russell is a rough horse, a cactus saddle, and a long journey. If you all want to know about truth about it, half of Eagle Pass feel the same way. Now, what else do you want us to do? Well, I don't know that there is anything else you can do for me. I... I'd like to leave my trunk in your care, though. And while I'm finishing packing up, why, you boys wouldn't mind go down and saddle up my horse and bring him up here. You know, that horse and that Palomino colt are the only bits of livestock I've got left out of this outfit now. Sure, we'll do that, Tim. Oh. 
Well, good morning, Betty. Good morning, Tim. Say, Betty, I'm awfully glad your father decided to give Artie and Duke a job. That'll help out some. I wish you'd come with them. Well, I can hardly do that, I'm afraid. You know, well, when Dad left me this ranch, he thought I was going to make a success of running it. Up to now, I haven't been anything but a failure. And it certainly wouldn't be right if I didn't make some attempt to get it back again. I know exactly how you feel. But somehow, I can hardly believe that you're leaving and that Russell is getting the bar X. Oh, I suppose I might have been able to hold it. Russell had only kept his word, but... Well, there's no sense talking about that now. You know, Russell holds a mortgage on our place, too. I wonder if... Oh, I wouldn't wonder if I were you. Your dad's always able to take care of his obligations. But I do hope he won't have to borrow anymore. That's where I made my big mistake, you know. Oh, hello. Thanks. Say, boss, it's not too late for you all to change your mind. I'm telling you, you're not going to find any silver in that Torvo range. The old prospectors gave that up years ago. It's been gone over with a fine comb, boss. <laughs> well, I'm going to try my luck at it anyway. Well, if you're set, you're set. Nothing more we can do about it. No, I'm all set. Except for just one thing I happen to think about. Up in that country where I'm going, there'll be no place to take an orphan like this. Say, Betty, that's a mighty fine colt. I think you make quite a horse. I'd like to leave him with you. Oh, you know I'd be glad to have him. I love horses as much as you do, Tim. And I'll break him and train him to do everything you'd want a good cow pony to do. Will you, Betty? Of course. I'll tie him up and we'll take him with us. Sure, hook him on. You know, Betty, I'll be... I'll be coming back here one of these days. When I do, I wonder if there's a... Well, I wonder if there'd be a chance to, to, well, to, to get my horse back. Why, of course, Tim. Thanks, Betty. Well, so long. So long. And good luck, cowboy. Get up. Boss, I reckon it's time we were drifting. So long. So long, boss. I hope you get round-shouldered carrying silver, boss. <laughs> so long. And boys, take care of her. You bet. Yes, sir. Adios. Adios. I'm plum sorry to have to do a thing like this to you, Tim. Well, it's no fault of yours. It's just the way the cards fell. However, I, I am a little surprised to see you out here today, Sheriff. Russell, you didn't think you were going to have any trouble getting me off this place, did you? Well, I didn't know, Clark. Especially after all the talk that's been going around Eagle Pass. Talk that's been going around Eagle Pass? What do you mean? What you said about me in town yesterday. Why, I don't seem to remember. What was it? You said I was money man. Well, aren't you? That's my business. Yes, yeah, you seem to have made quite a business out of it. You also said it was a bad day for Eagle Pass when I settled in town. Yes, I still think so. Well, well I don't think I'll be bothered by your talk much longer, Mr. Clark. This is my place now. Is there anything keeping you here? Aren't you just a little previous? You know, this won't be your place until 12 o'clock noon today. Let's see. He's right, Russell. Got 12 minutes to go to noon. Now, before I go, uh, are there any more of my statements you'd like to discuss with me? Yes. You said I was a cow thief. Well, aren't you? Hold on here. 
I ain't gonna have no shooting ruckus. As a matter of fact, I didn't say you were a cow thief, Russell. I merely said that it was kind of funny that I'd lost so much stock lately. And I suppose the people just used their normal intelligence and arrived at a logical conclusion. I'm kind of sorry now that I didn't think of it myself. Sheriff, put this man off my property. Are you giving me orders? Why, for two cents, I'd knock that face of yours right out from under your hat, you... Oh, Sheriff, don't get in any trouble on my account. I'll pull out. I don't care whether you do or not. I done my duty high-tailing out here with this manger coyote. But I don't have to stay. Now, Russell, I'm leaving now. But one of these days, I'm coming back. Don't think for a minute that you're going to get away with a bar X as easily as you imagine. Take my advice and stay away, Clark. I've got left out of that outfit now. Someday we've got to come back. This one came back too, Artie. Yes, ma'am, but it just don't seem like Tim. Now, if you all had let me get in touch with the postal no. authorities. No. It's no use, Artie. He's just disappeared, that's all. Boss, getting that girl's ranch will be like taking candy from a baby. Yeah, almost too easy now that her old man's dead. Of course, there's always a chance of Clark, even though he has been gone two years now. Clark? <laughs> 
What do you think I put Tyler on Clark's trail for, huh? Clark will never be back. You really cleared the way for yourself, Chief. And that's not the half of it. I'm going out right now to call on the future Mrs. Russell. Well, then I'll be best man. This is on the level. Here's to the future Mrs. Russell. Good afternoon, Betty. Miss Owen to you, Mr. Russell. Didn't I see you in town today? You did, but I stepped into the post office when I saw you coming my way. Now look here, Betty, and Miss Owen, you've got me all wrong. It would be pretty hard to get you any other way. I admire your spirit. You've put up a mighty good fight to pay back your father's debts, but it's a losing battle. Now, I think... Uh, well, we could arrange an extension on the loan I gave your father on this ranch, and... Uh... Yes? Where's the catch? Why should there be any catch? Because it isn't like you to offer. Well, maybe I've changed. A coyote never changes his bark. You wrong me, Betty. I want to help you. I'll be a rich man someday, and... Uh... Well, uh... Why shouldn't you help me spend my money? Are you suggesting that I marry you? Exactly. I knew there was a catch someplace. Well, you'd better be getting away from here. There's nothing more to say. You refuse me. Your money isn't everything. You'll be thinking it is when I take this ranch away from you. That, that's three days away. Oh, come on, Betty. Don't be foolish. Won't do you any good waiting for Tim Clark to come back. Why did you say that? Well, everybody knows you're waiting for him. You're always talking about him. Yes, I am. And why not? He'll never be back. He's probably dead by now. What? What do you know about him? Well, I mean, uh, he won't last long living the life that he is. He's an outlaw. Robbing banks, holding up trains, click. Why, you little wild cat! Just a minute, Russell. Take your hand away from that gun. So the prospector came back, huh? Just loaded with wealth. Now you pick up your hat and clear out while you're able. Save that advice for yourself, Clark. I'll make you wish you never came back if it's the last thing I ever do. Get going. Tim. I don't think he'll come back, but if he should, Better take my gun. Artie! Duke! Well, gee, boss, it ain't so bad as long as you know you got the fellow that shot you. What did he shoot you for? Did you know who he was? Oh, now, hey, just a minute, one at a time. Yes, just before he died, he told me his name. It was Jiggs Tyler. 
Jeeks Tyler? Yes, do you know him? A mean fella. Used to work for Russell. Used to work for Russell? Yeah, but never mind him, boss. Tell us about yourself. Yeah, sure. Did you uh, find any silver? Oh, no, I... I didn't find any silver. Oh, what happened? How come... Now, no more questions tonight, boys. Come on, out with you. Oh, well, now, this after all... This man needs sleep. After all, it's, it's just a little flesh wound I've got. Luckily. But you wanted to be up tomorrow, didn't you? Yes, I will be. <laughs> then good night. Good night. I've got a surprise for you. You have? You remember that coat you left with me? Yes. Well, there he is. Well, that can't be that cold. Yes, it is. And I named him Pal. Come on, I want to show him to you. Well, he's turned out to be quite a horse, hasn't he? He certainly has. If you whistle, he'll come to you. He will? Yes. What a trainer you are. What a horse I had to train. <laughs> Back up, pal. Go on out with him and make friends. He'll follow you all around. Well, I'd like to do that. Well, you are a horse, aren't you, huh? Where are you going now? Make friends with me, will you? Come on, suppose you and I go for a walk. Would you follow me around? Come on. Taught you to nip like that, huh? Man, think you almost meant it. <laughs> well, he's perfect. Make him kneel, Tim. Oh, will he kneel? Oh, yes. Down. 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 Way down. Step on him. Well, here I am. A beggar on horseback. By the way, I've got to go into town today. May I ride him in? Oh, you don't have to go today. Oh, but I'll be back. I know, but... Yep. Yes, but you need that money, don't you? $10,000 by day after tomorrow, or I lose this ranch. You won't lose it. Pal and I'll see to that. Where's Tim? He isn't here now, but he'll be back. Draw your own conclusions, Sheriff. I will, and without any help from you. What's the matter? What's happened? Betty, the express office was robbed last night and a man murdered. Well, why should you want to see Tim? Well, I want to talk to him about it. Oh, this is ridiculous. Tim doesn't know anything about the robbery. I don't think he did, but uh, Bendix here, my deputy, says he's seen three strangers ride into town last night just before the crime, and Jake Yoakum here, Russell's foreman, says he's seen them too. Well, what's that got to do with Tim? Well, uh, Zink says he could recognize one of them. He'll have his chance, all right. Here comes Tim. I'll tell you that, Bendix. Why, hello, Cheryl. Glad to see you again. 
Well, why the reception? I'd like to ask you a few questions, boy. Well, fire away. We know you was in town last night. Oh, yes, I was. What for? Why, I went to send a message to a friend of mine. <laughs> You'll have to do better than that, Tom. Now, you shut your trap, Russell. Who'd you send it to, and why? Well, I... I'd rather not say. Now, answer my question, boy, because this is serious. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but... There's nothing more I can say just at this time. Well, if you won't answer my questions... Why can't you, Tim? You don't know. No, I don't know what this is all about. Well, I'll tell you. You're accused of a robbery of the express office and a murder. And who accuses me of it? I am. And on just what do you base the accusation? I that say, was... listen. Does this man look to you like one of them three strangers that you said you seen? Well, uh, it was kind of dark. Uh, I wouldn't want to say for sure. Well, I'm sure. He's the man, all right. I'd swear to it. Now, wait a minute, everybody. There was one shot fired from the watchman's gun. Maybe Clark can explain how he got wounded. I'll Wait explain, explain that. Now, oh, just that. a minute. Russell, it might interest you to know that I was shot by Jiggs Tyler. I don't even know the name. You're a liar. He used to work for you. Oh, that's a waste of time, Sheriff. He's just trying to avoid the issue. I'm afraid I'll have to hold you, Tim, until you clear yourself. No, you won't. Now, put him up. I mean it. All of you. I'm going out of here and no one's going to stop me. Now, boy, you're on the wrong track. You'll be sorry for this. Sheriff, I'm sorry already. But I've got important business elsewhere. You know, Betty, there ain't nothing I ever hated to do worse in my life than have to serve that paper on you. That's all right, Cheryl. It isn't your fault. Boy, I can't believe Tim would leave me in the lurch like this. Come on, Sheriff. Let's get this business over with. Somebody's coming. Say, he's sure riding, whoever he is. I demand the sale of this ranch immediately. There won't be any foreclosure today. Here's the $10,000, Sheriff, that will satisfy the notes this man holds. Now, you count that money and then get off this property. 
Say, Tim, I reckon you didn't arrive a minute too soon. I always try to time my Pony Express so that I arrive on schedule. Ten thousand dollars, huh? That's just the amount that was stolen from the express office. What are you driving at? There ain't no proof that that money come from the express office. And until there is, Betty don't owe you a cent. Maybe you're ready to talk now, Tim, huh? Well, that depends on what you want to know. Where'd you get that money? Well, I... I'm afraid I'm not ready to explain that just yet. Of course he ain't ready. Because he's a lying, thieving sidewind. Now, Yoakum, one of these days, I'm going to think you're serious when you start clawing for that gun of yours. Sheriff, it's your duty to arrest this man, and you know it. I'm afraid i got to do it, Tim. Now, Sheriff, I can explain everything later, but I've got to get to Gold City. It's most important. Can't you see it's just a trick? I demand that you put him under arrest. I promise you I'll be back here in three days. I'll give you my word on it. Well, your word's always good with me, son. If Russell insists, put Tim under arrest, Sheriff. But, Betty, I've got to get... And I'll put the bridal bit up as security for Tim's bond. Good. We'll see Judge Gilmore and get his release at once. Oh. Well, that's mighty fine of you, Betty. <laughs> you stay here, boys, and I'll be right back. Yes. Come on, yes. Sheriff. Come on, Tim. I'll go on inside with you, Sheriff. See that everything's all right. Now, I can handle this without you, Russell. And it'll be legal, all right. Why don't you let him come along? We can take up that Tyler matter at the same time. Tyler matter? What do you mean? You'll find out at the trial. What trial? Yours, Russell. And it's coming off mighty soon. Come on, Yoakum. Come on, Tim. Bring me a bottle, Jake. All right, Mr. Russell. Getting shaky, boss, just because you lost the bridal bit. Oh, it ain't the bridal bit. It's Clark. Jig's Tyler. I was wondering about that. Zeke, you've got the fastest draw of anybody around here. I got a job for you. I'm listening, Chief. I want you to put Tim Clark out of the way. That ain't so easy. I'm not sure Listen, I could... you'll do as I say. You're in this just as deep as I am. Meaning what? Tyler knew what we were all doing. If you want me to play along, come clean about this Tyler business. I might put Tyler on Clark's trail in case he discovered silver. You'd get it without letting me in. Now I'm good enough to do your dirty work, huh? I handle my own deals in my own way. Well, handle this one, then. Calm down. Take it easy. Wait until you hear what I have to say. Well, there's one thing, sure. You won't get Clark's silver. He didn't find none. No? Well, where do you think he got the money to pay me for the Orange Girls Ranch? What, from the express office robbery? Shut up. I told Tyler not to throw down on Clark unless he was sure Clark had discovered silver. Well? Well, 
fact that Tyler was killed proves that Clark's prospecting wasn't a failure. Maybe. But you don't know that for sure. If I did go for Clark, I might risk my neck for nothing. Well, silver mine or no silver mine, you've got to do it to save your own neck. You mean Tyler might have confessed all our jobs? Certainly. You heard what Clark said about putting me on trial, didn't you? He knows something. And now he's going to Gold City to find out more. I was wondering why he was so anxious to make that trip. Tyler's brother, he used to work with us, lives there. So that's it, huh? Figures he can get more evidence against us from the brother. I tell you, Zick, we're up against it. Suppose I do this thing. What protection do I get? Well, I got plenty of money. In case it ever comes up to trial, I'll stand behind you. I was sure you'd stick with me. Well, I gotta protect you to protect myself, then. Let's see. I could start out an argument and then draw in self-defense. Good idea. Clark must never get to Gold City. He won't even make a good start, Chief. Good. Good luck, boy. I'll be waiting for you here. Well, that's settled. Now you can go as you please, Tim. Yeah, thanks to Betty. But if you got time, I'd appreciate you coming over to the express office with me. Maybe you might pick up a clue that I have overlooked. Well, if you think I could be of any help to you, why, I... Will you come along, Betty? No, I'm going back to the ranch. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Adios. Well, you pick up any clues? Reckon there ain't none to be picked up. Oh, well, maybe Tim and me can find something. That is, if you're sure that he ain't one of them three strangers that you said you seen. Well, I ain't sure, because I didn't get a real good look at them fellas. Well, you don't mean to say that I'm under suspicion. Well, I reckon everybody's under suspicion that we get this thing cleaned up. All right. Now, all you've got to do is prove that I had something to do with the robbery. Yeah, that's all. Come on in, Ted. Hello, Green. Howdy, sir. I brought Tim along. I thought maybe he might help us. Good. I've just been trying to straighten this up here. Besides the money, there's some papers missing. Nothing important, but I just wanted to find out where I stand. Hmm. I say, this safe wasn't blown. No, no. The bandits drilled through the combination. Well, didn't you say something about an explosion? Oh, I was just referring to the gunshot that killed the watchman. That's where they found his body. Uh, you were the first to discover this, weren't you? Yes. Several other people heard the shot, but they thought it was some drunken cowboys celebrating. And you say that when you came down here that morning, this front door was unlocked? Yes, that was the first thing I noticed. You know, you can almost imagine that whoever came to that door was known to the watchman. He probably went over there to unlock the door for a friend of his and got shot for his trouble. That's right. The other two must have got busy and robbed the safe. Just what makes you think there were three of them? <coughs> well, I figured them three strangers I seen in town probably done it. It's funny that in a town this size, you're the only man that saw any three strangers. Well, am I to blame if I'm the only one observing in the town? Your powers of observation are most extraordinary, Bendix. Well, that's my story, and, and you're stuck with it. Well, the detective's at work. 
Finding any clues, hombre? Uh, just what condition did you find things in when you arrived here that morning? Well, as I said, the first thing I noticed, the door was unlocked. Then I found the watchman on the floor and saw that he was done for. So I went over to the safe and found all the papers scattered about and the money gone. Then I sent one of the boys after the sheriff. Uh, I was away, but uh, my uh, deputy, Bendix, here, come right over. I got here a little later. That's right. And uh, did you find anything, notice any bits of evidence or anything that might give us information that might help us any? Well, uh, no. I started in to try and straighten up these things, and I've been at it ever since. Well, what do you make of? Why, uh, nothing. Yet. And by the way, Yoakum, where were you at the time of the robbery? We're in the bunk at the Bar X. Can you prove that? Russell will back me. Huh? I wouldn't take Russell's word under oath. Are you hinting that I had anything to do with this? I'm not hinting anything. But there are certain few individuals in this town that I'm a little curious about. I wonder if they could prove a proper alibi for the time of the robbery. Now, just a moment, Yoakum. There's no cause for you defending yourself. Yet. Well, don't be accusing me. You're liable to get something you ain't expecting. I'll accuse you if I find any evidence that points in your direction. Oh, uh, you seem to have overlooked this when you were cleaning up. Oh, yeah, that's just a blank letterhead. I'll throw it in the scrap basket. Not as blank as you imagine. Just take a look at the other side of it. Why, it looks like brown ink. Uh, I haven't got any brown ink here. That's not brown ink. That's blood. Yes? What are those peculiar marks? Now, those marks, you see, uh, are this. Hey, what's the idea? Oh, as I was saying, the marks that you see on there the impression of a boot heel shod with, with a metal heel plate. Put that over carefully, Sheriff. Jim, this is the first real clue that we picked up. By the way, have you metal heel plates on your boots, Yoakum? Wait, Sheriff. We'll get him. Hey, boy! Come on! No, I'm not hurt, but I think Yoakum was pretty hard hit. Sheriff, I wish you'd just take a look at those boot heels. 
He's the man, all right. What does this mean? Plenty, Russell. I thought you told me that Yoakum was on your ranch the night of the robbery. Well, he was, up until 10 o'clock. I went to bed then. That's pretty fast thinking, Russell. That alibi clears you. Of what? Being implicated in the express office robbery. Well, you don't mean to say that Yoakum was mixed up in that. Well, we happen to have evidence right here to prove that he was. Sheriff, I demand that you hold Clark for attempted murder. Attempted murder? Nonsense. Clear case of self-defense. And I'm glad Tim didn't miss. And you won't need me for a witness. Certainly not. This case is finished now. Well, I want to be on my way to Gold City right away. Run along, son. And thank you for helping me. Sheriff, I insist that you hold him. him. You insist? I'll be back here in three days, and when I get back, I'll have a little insisting to do regarding you. Clark? You're mighty lucky to get out of this like this. Outdrawing the second fastest gunman around here. Who's the fastest? Either me or you. Someday we'll find out. And nothing will give me greater pleasure. Joachim died so sudden, he might have made a confession and told who his pals were. Yeah, Russell was sure put out to learn that he had a bandit on his payroll. Much of a surprise to him as it was to everyone else. Here he comes now. Hello, Mr. Russell. Hello, Jake. I want to see you, Bendix. All right, Russell. Yellow. Ever since Clark shot Yoakum, they've lost their nerve. I tell you, we've got to do something to stop Clark. You seem mighty confident, Russell. Maybe Clark's got something to say about that himself. He won't be in a position to say anything when the time comes. What do you mean? Dead men can't talk. That's right. They can't. But who's going to do it? You. Me? <laughs> Why, you're crazy. I tell you, we've got to do something to stop Clark. He knows too much. You don't know anything about me. No. He will if I... Uh... Why, it don't mean you... If I get in a tight spot? Yes. Why, you dirty double crossing room. Take it easy. Take it easy. I won't go that far if you work with me. But we've reached a point where we've got to stand together. What do you mean? Clark's already started investigating things. He'll pick up your trail. All right. All right. What's your plan? Clark is due back in town today. The minute he shows up, I want you to put him under arrest. What for? For the murder of Zink Yoakum. Why, that was a fair fight. Yoakum got better than an even break. That doesn't make any difference. You've got to put him under arrest. Well, I can't do it without the sheriff's orders. Appendix. You feel that it is your duty to put Clark under arrest for the murder of Yoakum? No, don't you? Hmm? Yeah, but what's the use? The sheriff will turn him loose. I want you to put Clark under arrest and order him to hand over his gun. Supposing he refuses? He won't. He'll do anything he thinks the sheriff ordered. Now, get this clear. The instant he reaches for his gun to give it to you, I... I get the idea. Resisting arrest. Exactly. And I'll swear that I saw him pull on you, forcing you to shoot him in self-defense. That's a mighty fine plan, Russell. But where do you come in? 
right behind you. In case your bluff doesn't work, I'll say I thought he was pulling on me and... Uh, just another one of my mistakes, see? Here comes Clark now. about that, son. But I have been worrying a lot about how you've been producing all this good money out of thin air. You mean out of two years of back-breaking work? Oh. Then you found silver. Nope. I found gold. Gold? Where? Where'd you find it? You remember those old diggings up on Membrino Creek? Sure. Well, I've always had a hunch that they were never half worked. And you know that the gravel up at the head of that creek is just full of nuggets. Is or was? Mm. Was and still is. When the news of this strike gets out, you're going to see one of the biggest gold rushes that's ever taken place around this part of the country. Oh, now that explains why you couldn't answer my question. Of course, I was afraid that someone would hear about the discovery before I had a chance to register my claim. Is that why you went to Gold City? Hmm, to the registry office. Oh, I see. You know, there's one thing more I'd like to know. Where did you go that day we chased you? <laughs> I certainly covered a lot of territory that day. Yeah. You know, I rode all the way to Membrino. I wanted to convert some nuggets that I had into cash so that Betty could take care of those notes that Russell was holding. Oh, that explains everything. Well, what are you planning now, Tim? Well, I've been working all this time with just one idea in mind. That's the Bar X. Yeah. Now I want to try and find Russell and see if I can't buy it back again. Good idea. And I'm going to be right on my way now. I wish you luck, boy. Thanks, Cheryl. So long. So long. See you later. Here he comes now. I've been a-looking for you, Clark. Well, here I am. I'm putting you under arrest. Under arrest? What's the charge? The killing of Zink Yoke. Why, I thought that was all cleared up. You're mistaken. It was mighty queer that Sheriff Malcolm never said anything to me about that. You can talk that over with him inside. I got my orders. Who are they from? The sheriff or from Russell? Don't talk like that, Clark. You coming peaceable? Now, you're making a darn fool play, Bendix. Sheriff isn't going to stand for a thing like that for a minute. If you're set on arresting me, why, I'm not going to resist. You're mighty sensible, Clark. Hand over your gun. Oh, I'm to hand over my gun, am I? All right. Somebody, quick. All right, Sheriff. Too late for a doctor. Well, there goes the bar X. Listen, Sheriff. I want to confess. Russell and I in this with Yoke. You mean the robbery at the express office? Yes. Tricks you. Stole your cattle. Puts you out of business. And the ranch is yours, Tim. I always knew it was, rightfully. You're done for. Why, Tim, what are you worried about? Well, there's something been bothering me. It's that sign there. Well, I always thought that you liked the name of Bride a bit. Oh, I do, but, uh... Has it ever occurred to you that there are two ways of spelling bridal? <laughs> 